There's a traditional principle of Catholic theology that all works of the Holy Trinity ad extra or outside of God are works of the whole Holy Trinity. That's to say, everything God does outside of God, God does as Trinity. Concretely, that means that when God creates the world, it's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit who create the world. It's not just the Father who creates the world. Or it's not just the Son who redeems the world. When the Holy Trinity redeems the world, it's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit who redeem the world. A couple of interesting things follow from this in Aquinas' understanding of uh, the creation as a Trinitarian act. The first is that the processions of the Trinity obtain when we think about how the world is created. So on the one hand, it's true to say it's the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in their, uh, in their unity as the one God, in their omnipotence that they all each possess as the one God who create the world. But it's also true to say that that is occurring according to the eternal order of the processions. And that means that it's the Father who creates through His eternal Word and wisdom and in the love that is His Holy Spirit. So that enriches our way of thinking about creation. Creation is a gift of being that comes forth from the Father who is the principle without a principle, not only of the creation. I mean, the Father is the source of the creation, but He's before the creation, the unoriginate origin of the eternal life in God, of the Son and the Spirit. So creation is a kind of expression of the paternity God has in the Holy Trinity. He's expressing his paternity uh, through his word and through his uh, love that are expressions of himself in the Trinitarian life. And then the creation is understood as an effulgence or as an emanation or manifestation of the eternal wisdom of God that is the word. So the Father creates through the word. The word is the uncreated light and wisdom of God, and then the, the world is an expression of intelligibility, a mystery of, of God's wisdom um, that gives being to what is not God according to the pattern or model of the uncreated wisdom of God. So we have to understand that act of omnipotence, you might say, through the medium of the eternal word as the wisdom through whom all things are made. And then the Holy Spirit is the origin of the creation as the one in whom love is expressed most perfectly as the spirated gift of the Father and the Son in their mutual love for one another. Which means the world has a gratuity to it. It didn't have to exist, not just because of a voluntaristic act of God, but because God who's omnipotent created us as in, in, uh, from the Father through the Son in the Holy Spirit as an expression of the eternal love that is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has given being to all things from the Father and through the Son, um, from the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit has given being to all things as He who is uncreated love. And so the gratuity of the gift of being in the creation is an expression of the, of the gratuity of the uncreated gift of being in the Holy Spirit who is, who is the eternal love of the Father and the Son. So that, that gives you a much more profound and rich way of thinking about the mystery of creation. We only know about this because of divine revelation, but we can in divine revelation really reflect on the truth about this and think about the goodness of the Holy Trinity uh, and the mystery of the Holy Trinity being at, as it were, the center of the creation, as the author of creation.